about the fourth time and I'm gonna try it and it's gonna be a quicker one. I'm using Koala now on the MacBook. I've always used Koala, but I'm using it on the MacBook. And of course you know about the off-grid, okay, the controller. It works with it just fine. Let me turn it up so you can hear it. So you can hear it play. Right? There's my sequences, no different. It's free on the MacBook, which is dope. For right now, if you're on a MacBook, I say grab it, even if you don't know if you want to use it. It does open a little strange. It opens as like a phone like this, which is a little weird to me. But if you want it bigger, you can hit the landscape, pull it up, and then stretch it out. And now you have Koala, like almost like what your size of your tablet might be, right? Because this screen, I think, is like 13 inches. Anywho. All right, so here's the sequences. Um, it took me a second to figure this out if you're on the MacBook with the silicone, but you have to go into your system settings, privacy, and then allow it permission so that it can, for Koala at least, to to be able to um, use your input on your, on your uh, sound card. That was stressful, but because I didn't know what it was at first, I just figured it out because somebody said it on Fruity Loops too, that's the way it works. So interesting, but it's a great feature to have. So um, yes, I'm using MPC in the workflow. Yes, I'm using Koala. Yes, I'm using my daughter still vacuuming. Uh, yes, I'm using <laughs> uh, Logic for some things. But now that I can record directly in here, I probably, because I don't use a lot of effects, I probably will record directly into Koala because I like to do that and just chop the sample right there. But anywho, we'll talk about that some more. It's about two minutes in on this video. I'm going to end it there. And the cool thing I did say this is you can, you have to, it's a little different on here for me, but you have to save it. But see, I saved it right here. You can actually airdrop it to yourself by using share feature right there. And see that airdrop, and then it'll send it to your phone or whatever other device. So perhaps you got stuff on your phone that you prefer to mix with, however you want to do it. You got all those options right there at your fingertips. I don't want to have to airdrop it, but for right now, I'm going to do that um, until I get the... Um, it's a couple plugins that I really like to use that I feel are best for, well, at least my sound. And I haven't got those yet, but in due time, I do have them on the phone. I do have them on the iPad, but I want to get them for the computer itself so that I can just do it all on the computer track the beat and everything. Anywho, fun times. If you haven't messed with Koala, jump on it. Off-grid is still really cool for a portable battery-operated controller, small, size of an iPhone. And I'm just having fun making music, as you know. So anywho, that's it for me. And if you have any questions, you know where to leave them. And I'll see you on the next one.